join you and drink of the mercy of Jesus Christ at the river of life. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the feast of Saint Padre Pio. Saint Padre Pio is a mystic of our times. He was blessed with the stigmata and that means he bore the marks of the wounds of Jesus in his body. He suffered intensely because of these wounds in his body and he shared in the glory of the resurrection. The mercy flowed out of him because of his intimate union with the Lord, a high spirituality he lived. People went to him, thousands flocked to him, and all found solace and comfort in his presence. His spirituality and pastoral seal comforted thousands of people during his life. Today, as we celebrate his feast, let us in his intercession offer to the Lord all our struggles, all our problems in our life. We have the promise of St. Paul when he says, if we suffer with them, we will be glorified with him. Our sufferings will not be wasted. Our sufferings are a share we are given in the sufferings in the wounds of Christ. And we will be glorified with him. And therefore, with great hope in Jesus, in the crucified, risen Lord, let us offer to our God every suffering that we are going through, all the problems in our life, all the struggles that we are enduring and confess together, offering our sinfulness to the Lord, claiming peace and pardon from the mercy of our God. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, Saint Padre Pio, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, 
renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. There is a time for every matter under heaven. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 11. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen the business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response is, Blessed be the Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock. He is my merciful love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour, my shield in whom I take refuge. Response? Bless the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you regard him, the son of man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose days are like a passing shadow? Response? Bless be the Lord, my rock. Acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now it happened that as Jesus was praying alone, the disciples were with him, and he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but others say Elijah, and others that one of the prophets of old has risen. Then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. And he strictly charged and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying, Son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, 
and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, who is Jesus for me? What does Jesus mean for me in the day-to-day -day life of mine? That question, the answer to that question is of paramount importance for my spiritual life of faith. The question Jesus asked the disciples, what do the crowds say that I am? Crowds say many things. That he was John the Baptist come alive, that he was prophet Elijah, that one of the prophets has risen in him. Crowds say many things. But Jesus did not make any comment about what the crowds said. Even today, the crowds have many opinions. The media, the literature, the philosophers, the thinkers have many opinions about Jesus. That he was a great revolutionary. That he was a great thinker. Many things are being said about Jesus that is of no consequence to anyone. But Jesus is very much interested in what I think about Jesus. And therefore the question, who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said, you are the Christ, the Son of God. My dear friends, a question you and I need to ask ourselves, what does Jesus mean for me? What does Jesus mean for me in the moments of my trials, in the moments of my sufferings, in the moments of my failures, in the moments of my sickness, in the moments of my struggles, does Jesus mean anything to me? Is Jesus real to me in my day-to-day -day life? If only Jesus is real to me, only then, does my faith mean anything to me? Jesus said, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed on the third day, be raised again. <clears throat> Prophet Isaiah had said it. The mystery of the passion and death and resurrection of Jesus was foretold by prophet Isaiah. It was our sins that he took upon himself. It was our wounds that he bore. If it is my sin that Jesus took upon himself, if it is my wounds that he bore, I must be convinced of one thing. When I am wounded, when I am sinful, I should know my Jesus has taken it upon himself. And he was wounded for my woundedness. My sins he has taken upon himself. And he was raised. And I will be raised with him. And therefore, I have a great hope in Jesus. 
I will not remain wounded forever. I will not remain, I will not be destroyed in my sin forever. Because my Jesus has taken upon himself my wounds and my sin and my death. And he came out victorious through his resurrection. I have hope in him. Therefore, in the moments of my wounds, my struggles, my sinfulness, I turn to him. I find my Savior in him. I turn to him and I find my salvation in him. And that's why Jesus said, Come to me, you who are tired, you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. It is not like the cheap consolation given by politicians, no. The Lord is inviting us to himself in the moments of our troubles and our struggles with the promise he will comfort us because he has taken it all upon himself. Only he can comfort us. Only he can console us. Only he can forgive us. Only he can heal us. Only he, because he's our savior. He has taken it all upon himself. And he has won victory over everything that is wounding, everything that is burdening, everything that is tiring, everything that is struggling in my life. That gives us great hope. I shall never slip into despair. Whatever happens to me, I have my Jesus, my Savior there for me. That confidence should give me great hope joy in the moments of my trials, my troubles, and my problems. My Jesus is my Savior. I have a Savior to save me from all that is wounding, all that is burdening, all that is tiring in my life. Amen. brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive O Lord we pray the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Padre Pio so that as you brought him glory you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, you are holy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by a cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Renchit, our Archbishop, the Auxiliary Bishops, and all the bishops and priests and religious and lay leaders in the Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. With the confidence of the children in the love of our Heavenly Father, let's all pray to Him in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord has set over his household 
to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May the partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Padre Pio, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for priests, O, o Jesus, Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, priest, keep all your priests in the shelter of your sacred heart. heart. When none, none may harm them, keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Within your presence, I speak treason. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.